So hi guys, here we are taking a look at Battle Garage on the Sega Saturn. But why? Well because the Micomsoft Trainmeister has just had a new firmware released, came out on January 17th and it offers vertical scan lines. So what we'll do is we'll just take a screenshot of the game using the Framemeister. Okay. Wait till we get rid of all the uh, score text. Oh, that was good. The demo finished. <laughs> okay, but anyway, while they're just waiting for the demo loop to go through again, I'll tell you a little bit about the uh, update. Basically, it offers better support for 4K TVs. It adds a lot of features for Japanese PCs running through the FrameMeister and a whole host of filters, which is what I'm most excited about. Well, plus the 4K TV support. At the moment, we're running the Saturn in 1080p, and as you can see, it looks really nice. And I have the vertical screen filter on at the moment. Okay, so um, let's just grab a screen image okay so let's take a look at tell you what we'll turn that down a little bit let's take a look at some of the uh, new scanline features. So we'll go to special, scanline, and scanline filters. Now here you have the typical old style horizontal scanlines. They look pretty good but they're also kind of weird when you use them on a vertical scrolling shooter like this. There we have the new vertical scrolling scanlines. Look pretty good in my opinion. Here we have some sort of weird dot matrix type, type of scanline effect and one which splits the screen into squares uh, this is basically to represent some old type of PC display I'm not sure what this particular filter kind of replicates the Nintendo 3DS screen where basically you can see all the square pixels they look rather big because this is a pretty big screen as you can see by um, just putting this uh, CD in the screen for a uh, you know, size comparison. And the final filter is the X filter, which basically just turns it to what they seem to say is a LCD dot matrix display. Um, kind of looks a bit weird, actually. But what we are most interested in is the vertical line display, right here, which should make our vertical uh, scrolling shooters look a lot um, more like, uh, you know, as they do in the arcade. So let's uh, unfreeze the screen. And let's start up the game and see how it looks. By the way, we're playing this in full arcade screen mode. We've got all the secret options switched on, so we won't edit the stages. We have the guest characters switched on, but we'll just go standard characters. And we're using the standard uh, soundtrack as well. So let's turn up the sound. Now I have no idea what this is going to look like on YouTube, but in person, this looks pretty much like uh, what the game looks like when I play it in the arcades. Because when you're in the arcades, your face is practically on top of a great big monitor. A CRT monitor to be of, uh, of course. But uh, when you're really up close to the CRT monitor, you can see the scan lines really well. Um, and this new filter does replicate that effect fairly decently, to be honest. Now, uh, this game is kind of dark in colors, so let's switch over to Batsugun and uh, see how that looks with these new scanline options. Just 
kill this guy first. Okay, that's him dead. Let me get the Batsugun disc. Alright, here it is. Okay, uh, yeah, just to show that I'm not using illegal copies, this is the real deal. Take out the Saturn. Yeah, see? It's the real deal. A little obby card in there. Okay. And Batsugun, yep, yeah, same deal. Real disc. Okay. While we're waiting for that to boot up, let's quickly go through some of the uh, picture stats. I'm actually using a uh, Harmony remote control here, so it's a little bit slow at going through the menus. On, oh no, we don't actually replay. It's a little bit slow going through the menus on the uh, Frame Meister. Alright, let's get that going again. So as you can see, uh, the input is 720 by 240p, uh, running pretty much at 60 hertz, RGB analog. And we are outputting HDMI 1080p at 60 hertz, uh, RGB 8 bit. Okay, and as you can also see, um, this is how I was last playing the game <laughs> in vertical mode. So this is what your scan line should look like on an arcade monitor. They should be like this. That looks pretty cool, I must say. But the only problem is you've got to play the screen, uh, you got to play the game, you know, in the wrong orientation. And not all games offer a rotating mode on the control pad. Thankfully, this game does. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch on the vertical scanline option and put the screen back into regular mode. So first let's uh, switch on the vertical scanline option. Hey, whoops. There is special mode. Ooh, not overlay. filter. Okay, and let's set up the game to play in normal screen orientation. Uh, game mode, screen mode, here we go. Arcade, not normal, to normal. Normal one is the one we want to go for. Yep, I think that's it. Okay, let's take a look at this in action. A bit of interference up there. Check out my RGB cable. Now to me that looks really really good. Um, like I said I have no idea how YouTube compression is going to affect this but in real life that looks really nice. Now I'm not saying it looks better than CRT but I have played this game in the local arcade quite a lot with my face pretty much pressed up against a big woman CRT and now I'm looking at it on this uh, 50 inch 4K panel and it looks just as nice running at 1080p
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the video description to a video I made a couple of years back showing you how to upgrade the Frame Meister firmware. And I'll also put a link to the uh, web page where you can get the firmware from. So if you do fancy these uh, new Skyline options, go and download the firmware and update your Frame Meister. One thing I must point out though is that these uh, new filters do not work in 720p mode. They look kind of funky, so you've got to be in 1080p mode. And also, you have to have the screen set to smart number 2. If you don't use the Frame Meister screen setting to smart number 2, the uh, filters don't work. Okay, so that's all we've got time for for this little quick update to inform you about the new Frame Meister firmware. Hope uh, this is going to be useful for some people out there. And I'll see you in the next video, which is going to be another Chinese uh, knockoffs, which uh, we are now calling Made in China. Yeah, the uh, people who supply some of the machines to us were not too happy with me calling the show as Chinese knockoffs. Uh, not surprising, really. Okay. Until next time, keep on gaming and enjoy your games.